Rare Breed from Gurkha. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco, and today we're going to be looking at a pipe tobacco from Gurkha. So let's get to it. So today we are looking at one of the pipe tobaccos released under the Gurkha name. This one is basically an American style. It is Red Virginia, Turkish, Burley, Latakia, and Perique. Uh, I find, especially since this is coming from a cigar brand, which is kind of strange compared to the Cohiba and the Partega releases, I believe both of those are aromatics. This one makes way more sense to release under a cigar brand because I find people coming from cigars moving to pipes they tend to like stuff that is the non-aromatics, and I find a lot of them seem to lean more towards English style or Latakia based blends. So this one basically covers that whole gamut having their Virginia Latakia and Perique in it. So that's, that's pretty cool. This is a ribbon cut tobacco. It is mostly dark browns and black and then there's a little bit of that uh, yellow in there, which is, I, I'm assuming is mostly the Turkish. Scent wise, there's a light smokiness, kind of a musty pine in there. Bit of cheap chocolate and a touch of cherry. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So moisture level out of the tin was pretty much perfect. This is made by the uh, by Sutliff. So they're the ones who are doing the, the blending and packing and all that fun stuff. So it is good quality. So that's, that's something to look for. And um, yeah, so let's get this lit up and we'll get to some, to some tasting notes here. While I'm lighting this, be sure to like and subscribe, comment, question, feedback down below. You can also find me on various social medias. Also, I know I haven't been making a ton of tobacco-related content lately. Um, so I think this channel is going to end up being a little more eclectic over time because, you know, YouTube is hating us at the moment. And also, if you'd like to support this channel, I am now doing some woodworking stuff. Right now, I do have uh, pens, and you can check out the video before this one about uh, a nice custom oak ashtray that I made. So if you'd like any of those things, uh, you can just contact me, my contact information, either through any of my social medias, or you can shoot me an email. My email's over on the About tab. Um, it just stays hidden, so I don't end up getting a bunch of spam from website, website crawlers that just pick up uh, email addresses everywhere. So you'll probably see a bit more like woodworking videos come through. As I kind of branch out a little bit. And um, that would be a, a decent way to support the channel so you actually can get something for your, for your money. So off the initial light here, it's just a very soft feeling smoke very light on the palate. There's just a slight touch of smokiness in there. Decent tobacco flavor. There's a mild fruity note in there. It's very, very light. And a slight touch of maybe a very slight warm vanilla in there as well. So I'm gonna continue smoking this down and I will get back to you in a little while. Today I'm smoking my sail pipe. Uh, this is made by Albin Pipes. Uh, they're out of the Czech Republic, I believe. I just picked this up off of eBay, probably about $30. It's actually a really, really nice pipe. I like it quite a lot. All right, so halfway down the bowl here. Texture-wise, it's a little bit of kind of a prickly sensation, a little bit of heat buildup on the palate. Flavor-wise, that musty pine has started to come through. 
has a slight smokiness, a touch of tar in there as well. There's really no sweetness to speak of. Retrohale is still very, very smooth, but doesn't really give you anything more. Burn has been fantastic. I've just had one relight because I had to set it down to use the bathroom or whatever. So um, that is kind of where we stand at about the halfway point. I will probably update you probably at the end of this thing. Hat of the day today is my Dockers flat cap. This probably is the one that I wear the most that you've seen. So uh, if you're interested in it, it's a really, really nice hat. I've had it for like 10 years at this point. So uh, check it out. Link is down in the description if you're interested. Pretty much at the bottom of this thing now. It's burned really well. There's really like no excess moisture in here. The tar has really kind of tapered off. It's now a smoky with a light cocoa in there. There's also a touch of like conquered grape, kind of like the aftertaste of conquered grape. The retro hail has become a little harsher, but it's not like super harsh at all. There's still a little bit of heat in the back of the palate, kind of the tingliness is gone and it's kind of re-softened again. So pretty much the end of this thing, it didn't turn into super hot flavors that are just kind of washed out. It's actually relatively uh, enjoyable. So not too bad. So this is actually a really, really nice offering and being under the Gurkha brand, um, I think it kind of lives up to what you usually see from Gurkha. I don't know why Gurkha gets so much hate in the cigars because I like most of them. I think I've only didn't like one of their cigars out of the probably 20 that I've had of theirs. So whatever. Um, so anyways, this is Rare Breed from Gurkha. Thanks for checking it out with me. Like I said, if you'd like to support this channel, you can uh, buy a, a custom-made ashtray from me or a pen or something like that. Head over to my social medias and you will probably see some of that stuff posted and you can contact me if you would like to have something custom made for you. And uh, like I said, I'll probably do a little bit more woodworking and this channel is probably gonna get a little more eclectic, um, but I'm, like I said, I'm gonna still continue on doing this uh, stuff, you know, cigars and, and, and pipes and whatnot. So you don't have to, don't have to abandon ship on me. Um, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment, question, feedback down below. Of course, you can find me on all the social medias showing on the screen below right now. Also, be sure to check out one of these videos that are showing up over in the side. And I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.